This one is called Taste in the color Pearl Blonde Rooted. It's in a line called the Prime Power line. I received this wig style from Wig Studio One for this review and education today. Be sure to check it out. I will attach all of the links below this video. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. They are ready to help. And don't forget to visit us on our private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. We'll see you there. And if there's something that I haven't covered here and you have questions, please reach out to support at wigstudioone.com. They're ready to answer all of your questions. Okay. And if you're not familiar with the Prime Power line by Ellen Villa, the pieces in that line feature an ultra luxurious blend of human hair and heat friendly synthetic. So I'm gonna get into this with you a little bit. I wanna point out why this fiber actually blends the bo best of both worlds and gives you a really nice value. So again, So let's get right into some education on these fibers because the value lies in this fiber blend. A human hair heat friendly synthetic fiber blend. If you're out there and you're used to wearing human hair pieces, you might find that the demand is high but the supply is low globally. This would be a great alternate for you. It looks, acts, and feels just like human hair. I'm always in awe when I'm a synthetic girl, right? So when I get a human hair piece, I'm just always in awe of the feeling of it. It's just, it's ultra natural feeling. It's ultra luxurious. Another benefit of adding the heat friendly synthetic fiber to this blend would be that it retains its style. So this is a completely heat friendly blend. I think they recommend a temperature of 300 degrees or less for styling and remember to style it as it is dry. Don't use it in damp or wet condition. But you can heat style this. So you can go in and add some curl and then wash it. And that curl should stand up through the washings. Unlike your typical complete 100% human hair wig style, you would have to go in and blow it out and restyle it. That's a lot of time and maintenance involved with that. Many of you are gonna have questions about the longevity of this fiber. So often we kind of associate the heat friendly synthetic fiber with having less of a lifespan compared to a regular synthetic or human hair. But in this case, the heat friendly fiber is just dispersed in and among the human hair pieces. It keeps it separated. So those, those heat friendly synthetic fibers aren't clumping together as easily. You'll find that this tangles a lot less than a heat friendly synthetic style and also the maintenance is a little bit less as well. Now just like any style if it gathers friction even human hair you're going to have to go in and detangle and so forth but I think you'll find that you will do that much less often on a style like this. So the wear and tear on the wig style is going to be less because of this human hair blend. So we're bringing in the benefit of the human hair in terms of longevity uh, Ellen Villa says that this should last you every bit as long as your regular human hair wigs. So a typical human hair wig could probably last 9 to 12 months. We all know this is variable depending on the length of the style, how well you're maintaining the style, but you should expect the uh, the identical longevity of the style to match your human hair wigs of the same length and maintenance routine. So that's another plus. And a lot of times on the human hair wigs, you find a limited color palette and the blondes feature a lot of brassy gold kind of colors. And that's because when you lift natural human hair, you're going to get the brassiness. So you got to go in and follow up with a toner and it's a multi, uh, it's a multi-system process. Now by adding in this heat friendly synthetic, it retains the color. So you'll notice that on this pearl blonde rooted, you're not getting any hints of brassiness. There's no gold in this. And that is something that's very difficult to achieve on straight human hair. Their colors are more like a synthetic palette in that they're true colors and they can eliminate all the yellow, brass, and gold, which seems to be so popular among us. So another thing that goes hand in hand with that is there's less shine compared to a synthetic, a full synthetic. Uh, human hair it has a little bit of reflection to it. It absorbs and reflects light a little bit differently. Um, 
and a heat friendly style is also less shiny than the regular synthetic so with this piece on these blends, you're definitely going to find less shine compared to a synthetic style or even a straight heat friendly synthetic style. So that is also a big plus. So less tangling, less shine, and you're probably wondering how this fiber blend reacts to the environment. A lot of us out here have experienced how our hair react, our natural hair reacts in high hu heat or high humidity conditions in the environment, right? A rain, I just probably would never want to be caught outside in the rain in a human hair wig or a high humidity situation because we're just going to get a frizzy mess, right? That's just how it goes, no matter what kind of products we put in it. But by adding that heat friendly fiber, synthetic fiber to this blend you're eliminating that uh, obstacle because by adding that heat friendly fiber blend to this and dispersing it in and among those regular human hair fibers you're just not going to have that frizziness take place and in terms of maintenance, Ellen Villa recommends that you wash your wig every six to eight wearings. I actually get more time in between mine just because I don't wear it for long periods of time and I rotate my wigs quite often. So use your best discretion on that. And after you are washing and conditioning your wig style, um, let it completely dry. Let this fiber blend completely dry before adding any heat. So you could allow it to dry and then go in and do a blowout uh, to give you to give you a nice background for what you want to do with your other heat styling. Whether you want to make it straight pressed look, you want to add some curl. There's a lot of versatility to it. And again, as I mentioned, that actually is going to be sustained through washings until you decide to change it. And to maintain and keep this fiber blend looking its best, you're definitely gonna, go, gonna want to go in with heat and just sort of smooth it out from time to time. That gets all the cuticles back in alignment and makes it look healthy and refreshed. So be sure to follow the instructions on this human hair blend. Let me jump right into the review for taste. Again, if you like Ellen Villa's Drive, which is a very, very popular kind of a long bob, long sleek bob, you're going to love this. Plus, you'll have the additional versatility and longevity of having this Prime Power Fiber Blend. So it is a long polished bob. We're looking at about a 13 inch front. Overall, I'm going to say that it is about 14 to 15 inches. You notice a little bit of wave down at the weight line, which is also similar to drive. Um, you can flip it out. You can flip it in. You could straight press it. But that's going to determine what the total length is. But it comes just like this, ready for you to style right out of the box. So the weight on this is a little less than five ounces. It feels really lightweight on the head. And I have a feeling that's due to a couple of things. So this fiber is ultra light and fine. And it also has a beautiful light feathery density to it, which adds to the realism. This is not a heavy density style. It's just enough fiber to make it look natural without being overly voluminous or dense. We examined these cap features in the unboxing segment, but let's take a look at them again as they are applied. So here again, we have that temple to temple, slightly extended lace front, no visible seams there, but look at those knots. The knots are dispersed every other hole or so. Um, it is a fabulously natural look. You cannot tell where that lace front begins. It just blends into the skin tone so easily and also begins with a nice fine knotting process and you'll be able to see right through to the illusion of scalp along that monofilament part there. And don't worry if you want to part it on the right, you can simply move the fiber to the opposite direction without really changing up that part a whole lot. That parting space is gonna be about an inch to an inch and a half, so you'll be able to enjoy a little bit of versatility there as well. So this is another big question is the fit. So let's talk about the fit on this style line. The fit is average. 
in my opinion, because I'm making an adjust, I'm making an adjustment to accommodate my petite average circumference. But uh, one of the demonstrators in some of the education that we have received from Ellen Villa has an average large circumference and she gets a very, very nice secure fit that is very comfortable. So I would say that if you're out there with a 21 and a quarter like me, because I can attest to that, up to a 22 and a half inch circumference, I think that this cap will accommodate you. So let's talk about this color pearl blonde rooted. But before I do that, I want to point out that I think I counted eight different color options on this style. I think it's an assortment of blondes and brunettes. Um, a couple of the brunettes can be considered an auburn blend like the light Bernstein and the mocha. Um, if you're used to those colors, these are going to really mimic what you're used to seeing on the synthetic styles by Ellen Villa. So let's break it down. You're going to love this pearl blonde rooted, especially if you like a nice, light, cool blonde with no yellow, no gold or brassiness, and or if you're transitioning from blonde to gray, I think this would be great. Sometimes these very ashy tones will come across gray on camera, but there is no gray here. So it, it appears to me more of a toned white or a pearl platinum type effect. So it's a combination of some ash blonde, some medium ash blonde, let's call it, and then on top of that then followed up by the pearl platinum, which is kind of looks like a toned white. And exciting news, this is a true, true light root. Sometimes the camera can emphasize contrast and make the root look a little darker than it actually is. I'll give you a look at this color outside, but it is a kind of a dark ash blonde root. It's fabulous. It provides a little bit of shading and dimension without being a stark contrasted root. Awesome. All right.